Hi everybody, it's Monday and we are on week nine. Week nine of uh, our stay at home order here in Wisconsin. We have a couple more weeks to go, but we're doing the right thing. The numbers, the percentage of positive tests has gone down consecutively for several days, which means they're doing a lot more tests but that's one of the best ways we can control the spread of this terrible, terrible virus. And I know people are frustrated and confused and there's not a lot of clarity. Things aren't real sure what's going to happen and what the time scale, the time frame it's going to happen in. But it's going to happen and we're going to reopen and we're going to get to be back together. We just need to take it slow so that we don't have a rebound. So we don't go down and then go way up like... Um, a roller coaster so we have to be careful and the scientists and the mathematicians and the doctors and the nurses and all those people who understand about it a whole lot more than I, even I do um, are working really hard to figure out the best way for us to do that so that's a good thing and I'm sorry I'm a little late in recording today I was doing fun and very exciting things as a grown-up like matching socks and putting away the laundry and all those important things that have to get done. So we have a book today about friends. It's called Shh, We Have a Plan by Chris Houghton. Shh, we have a plan. Here we go. Now, this book has two dedications. The first is to my youngest sister, Lynn, and then the Next one is a quote from Albert Einstein, who was a very important scientist, that says, peace cannot be kept by force. It can only be achieved by understanding. Here we go. <gasps> Look, a bird. There's our little band of friends. There's their bird. birdie shh, shh. we have a plan tiptoe slowly tiptoe slowly now stop Ready, one, ready, two, ready, three. The birdie flew away. Look up there. Hello, birdie. Shh. Shh. We have a plan. Now they have a ladder. Climbing slowly, climbing slowly, now stop. Shh. Oh, hello, kitten. That's Miss Tagore. Hi, honey. She doesn't usually come down for story time, but she needed a little petting. I'm going to see the picture again. Okay, that's where we were at. Ready one, ready two, ready three. I 
didn't work this time either. Look, down there. Sorry if that was bumpy. Mr. Gore was climbing off the, off the desk. Look down there. Hello, Bernie. We have a plan. This is the third plan. Paddling slowly, paddling slowly. Now stop. Ready one, ready two, ready three. Go! Third time was not the charm. It didn't work either. Hello, Birdie. Would you like some bread? One, two, three. One, two, Oodles and oodles of birdies. Ready one, ready two, ready. That birdie is not happy with him. Here's our little band of friends. Look, a squirrel. What do you think? You think you're going to get the squirrel? Shh! We have a plan. The end. So my friends, when all of this started with COVID-19 and the coronavirus and the safer at home and shelter at home and all of the changes that we have absorbed in our lives in these nine week, eight weeks going into our ninth week, I said that one of the most important things we were going to do was learn how to be flexible. Flexible and adapt because everything was going to change. And so we might start with one plan, but we might need another plan.
we might get part way into something like doing these bedtime stories and I discovered I needed a night off so we don't have them on Sundays or you're schooling at home or parents or grandparents working at home we might start have started with one plan and we might be on like our seventh or eighth plan now that we're going into the ninth week because we need to adapt and be flexible and change as all of this goes on because none of this has ever happened to us before. Not to us personally, not to us as communities or congregations or the world. None of us actually know quite what we're doing. And so flexibility, let's see that again, is the most important thing that we can do. And so I am very proud of you, of how flexible you have been in adapting and changing to this very confusing world. And I think you're amazing for having tried. And if you have a great day at it, that's wonderful. And if you have a grumpy day, that's okay too. And so until tomorrow, which will be Tuesday, I want you to remember how very much I love you. Bye-bye.